Broncos hosting the Chargers, and this is a game that I'm sure we all are going to have our popcorn ready to watch. And the Broncos are three and a half point favorites. The over under is 36 and a half. The Chargers are plus 154 on the money line, and the Broncos are minus 184. And it's supposed to be Jared Stidham and Easton Stick. Now, we know that Sean Payton doesn't like Russell Wilson, clearly. And I understand it's a business decision because if Russell gets hurt in one of these last two meaningless games, they're on the hook for $39 million and they don't want to be on the hook for $39 million. So they're foregoing the season now that the odds are no longer in their favor to make the playoffs, which they were still kind of in the hunt, which is why I think they're benching him just to make sure that he doesn't get hurt going for a play to try to win a game. And, you know, that's it. Head to head. The Broncos are 6 and 4, the home team is 7 and 3. The underdog has covered the last 3 games. The underdog is 7 and 3 against the spread. The favorite is 5 and 5 on the money line. The under is 6 and 4, and the over under at 36 and a half is 5 and 5. Since they announced that Russell Wilson wasn't playing, I imagine kind of everything fell. The Chargers are 3 and 7 in their last 10, 4 and 6 against the spread, and the under is 7 and 3. There was a total of 6 points, 31 points, 84 points and then 46 points they scored six points in a win over the patriots that they shut them out they scored seven points in a 17 loss 17 point loss to the broncos 21 points in a 42 point loss to the raiders and then 22 points in a two point loss to the bills for the broncos they are six and four in their last 10 five and five against the spread and the under is seven and three in their last 10 and i imagine had they not lost the last two weeks that they played and they only lost one of them, Wilson probably would still be starting. Now, there was a total of 39, 31, 59, and then 49 points. They lost by five to the Texans, beat the Chargers by 17, lost by 25 in Detroit, and then lost by three to the Patriots. I give the edge solely to the Chargers because they've been playing with Stick a little bit more consistently and Jared Stidham just looked awful when he was with New England and I really don't trust it and I know that you know maybe they're trying to do something to uh I don't even know if they have a first round pick in this draft I I don't think that they do so you know whether they do or they do they, they do have a first round pick in this one so now it's just lose because they're at the 14th pick right now Chargers with the money line, Chargers getting the points, and I'm going to go, shockingly, I'm going to go over and just say that this is one of those weird games that we're expecting not to see offense, and we actually will see offense in it. It's going to be 43 degrees and mostly cloudy, so not too bad in Denver. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.